and there's nothing you can do about it. Get, give me your name and badge number. Get back. Stop that music. I'm in a public place. I can feel whatever I can see. Photography is not a crime. Photography is not a crime. Photography, photography, photography is not a crime. I'd like to welcome you to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. Join me for some unfiltered and honest discussions on issues that affect you and your family. Here's Johnny. How do you stand behind the chief after you all know that he has leveled criminal charges against me for speaking in the United States of America? Greg is correct. Uh, speaking is not a crime. Throughout this video, I'll interject some of Craig's previous uh, speaking and communicating threats, refusing lawful orders, insulting, challenging, disorderly conduct encounters, which are all not protected speaking. Well, it'll be on 726, so it'll be July 26th of this year. It'll I really don't care, man. I can read kind of just fine. Hey, but I, I just wanted to ask you, did you want to fight me, man? Do you want to fight, bro, or are you just a... We are at the Linton City Council meeting. This is the May 13th City Council meeting. And we are here to ask that the Linton City Council abolish the terrorist organization that is the Linton Police Department. Now, these people know, they have knowledge that the Linton Police Chief has leveled criminal charges against me. You look pathetic, man. If you ever take that badge off, we can figure out who's a tough guy. You don't want oh, that's 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 to throw at? That's nice to throw at. No, you're up, you bro. Come on, take the badge off and let's go somewhere else. Let's go to private property and you can fight. The accusation? Speaking words he did not like. We are here to ask them how they defend his actions and how they continuously fund his department with taxpayer dollars while he actively tries to put fear into the hearts of people he does not like. Actually have jobs to do and actually work for Go back and do your job. You're, you're a wannabe tough guy. Take, take away the badge. I tell all cops this. Take away the badge, take away the gun, and you're probably a coward. My name is Craig Hendry. The city of Linton has a rogue police department. This is not to be taken lightly, as the police department is the branch of government at the local level that actually gets physical with the constituents. I told you all a month ago that the chief of police is attempting or has leveled an accusation against me, uh, an accusation of a violation of criminal law, and that accusation is that I spoke words that the chief did not agree with. What if I come over and start grabbing you all over? Is that okay? So why don't you get your act together, read a law book before you go laying your hands on people, you clown. Look at you in that little clown costume. And that accusation is that I spoke words that the chief did not agree with. Yeah, guys, so these guys, uh, Denver Metro, I'm getting pulled over. These guys were on the opposite side of the highway, all right? So they're on the opposite side of the highway. And, um, yeah, they're like, uh, they're like, oh, hey, man, uh, we pulled you over because we saw that your license plate light was out, which, by the way, I've gotten it fixed since then. They're, they're just lying. Hey, will you turn that damn flashlight off? See, that shit's so annoying. And they do, and they do it because we're recording, guys. Hey, go ahead, turn, the back, turn that flashlight off, will ya? Did you want to fight me, man? Do you want to fight, bro, or are you just a So that's Matthew Price. He's a You want to hide behind that badge, little man? Keep doing it. Man, that, these guys would never fight, you know, that's the thing. No. They'd no. never fight. You have all had time to verify what I've told you and confirm this heinous and unconstitutional act by the chief of police. I think it is shameful that the chief, Paul Clark, is still the chief of the police department after I notified you all of his actions against me. 
Right, if there was an honorable, oath-taking member of this council, that person would advocate that we remove Paul Clark from his position with the city of Linton. It's important to remember what Mr. Clark wants me in jail for. As the charge he's leveled against me carries a maximum sentence of 180 days in a cage. The accusation he's leveled against me is that I spoke in front of you in March. Right? When those in power seek to jail vocal critics, it shows a lack of respect for history, but more importantly, it shows a contempt for the rights given to us by our Creator. You're scaring these ladies. You're aggravating me. Step out in the hallway. If I'm aggravating you, man, then just do what you got to do. You're bothering them. They're scared. It's their right to keep you out. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where you get that idea, man. Right here. Look at this guy. This is me. Zip. Whoa, dude. Don't. Oh, step outside in the hallway. You're on video also. Step outside in the hallway. Don't touch me, dude. You're not welcome here. It's a message from the government that if you speak out against us or our actions, we will seek to destroy you and lock you up. Many people are blind to the police's wrongdoings, and they're blinded by these political slogans or hive mind mentalities like, back the blue. Many of these same people are naturally inclined to be suspicious of the government as a whole, but support the police blindly. But if the police are acting as overreaching government agents, and if they are trying to criminalize speech that they don't like, what? In here? In here? Yeah, I'm filming it. No, I can, brother. Yep, no, I can. It sounds like you're trying to tell me what I can and can't do, man. This is supposed to be America. No, nah, man, I'm good. Don't worry. Whoa, don't touch me, buddy. What do you think you're going to do? I come before you again today. I think this is for the third time now. With the request that you all come to your senses, leave this hive mind mentality in the past. This police department is attacking vocal critics. Its weapon, the legal system. So yeah, guys, uh, we just, I wanted to go live and tell everybody kind of what's going on with me. So I, as you all know, I went to jail uh, to tie up some loose ends from a charge that happened in 2021 and 2020, respectively. So Craig is uh, out of jail and almost free of the justice system. Almost. I am very free. I'm off probation now. So, but there is a... Uh, this is a double-edged sword here. I'm well. Wouldn't even say that. Probation is a good thing. I've got another thing to deal with now. While I was in jail, as people know, I happened to accrue bogus uh, traffic tickets. Everyone that I ever arrested was a victim. They were all innocent, just like Craig, who doesn't get traffic tickets but gets bogus traffic tickets. This police department is attacking vocal critics. Its weapon, the legal system. I ask that you end it. Abolish this police department. And if you don't want to end it, I'd like to ask you, how do you stand behind the chief after you all know that he has leveled criminal charges against me for speaking in the United States of America? I'm not going to take you and throw you in a cage. No, you're not going to. You're right. You're right. No, and it's not because I can't. I mean, you can't. You don't have any rights to, and I don't think you, you don't have any rights to, buddy. I don't think you, you could. You just violate the Constitution all the time. To. You don't think I could if I, if I wanted to? Okay. Nope. <laughs> well, I'm not going to test that because you'd call a whole bunch of your gang to come and defend I don't think I need them. You won't be able to take me and put me in a cage. Okay. And, and you can't. Would you like to test that? I mean, I will give you the option to consent to me trying that. And if you consent and I consent, it's completely okay, right? Craig truly believes by threatening cops, which he knows won't take him up on his threat, makes him look like a, a tough guy. I think that Craig would just crap his pants if one of these cops just said, okay, let's go. Your public comments complete? There's no answer to my question from any, any member of the council. There is not an interaction. This is your just comment. No, they're just people. I'm just asking. 
Anything else? I make a motion to adjourn. <clears throat> second. Motion to make a second to adjourn. Thank you for speaking. All in favor? Aye. Yep. We are fresh out of the Linton City Council meeting where just moments ago we asked the Linton City Council how they can defend the actions of their police chief Paul Clark. We are now going to attempt to ask Mr. Clark how he defends those actions. Yeah, so we just got arrested uh, and our phones got stolen. Always film the police in Lake County, bro. I was thinking of any way to try to get a hold of you, but they stole my phone and they're not giving it back. Like they're saying it's evidence. So anyways, guys, basically we were in a parking lot, public parking lot of the Sheriff's Department. These armed thugs run up on us and they just threw us in cuffs. They insulted us. They laughed at us and took our phones and said, ha, 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 we're taking this as evidence. And I'm not children. making it up. That's literally what they did. They were like children about it. They were calling me a punk-ass bitch trying to get me to react to them. You look at that, man. If you want to take that badge off, we can figure out who's a tough guy. No, you don't want oh, to? Oh, that's a threat. Yeah, that's nice to throw it there. Oh. No, you're up, you bro. Come on, take the badge off and let's go somewhere else. Let's yeah. go to private property that's and you true. can fight. You're, you're a wannabe tough guy. Take Take away the badge. I tell all cops this. Take away the badge, take away the gun, and you're probably a coward. They were calling me a punk-ass bitch trying to get me to react to them. Do you want to fight me, man? Do you want to fight, bro, or are you just a We are now going to attempt to ask Mr. Clark how he defends those actions. Let's wait just, just a few seconds. So we were not able to ask Paul Clark, the chief of police, the question we wanted to. However, we did find one of the councilmen and posed a question to him. Here's how he responded. John Legato's show is being brought to you from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, please subscribe and hit the like buttons. Semper Fidelity.